But I want to let you know right now, this is not easy. <laughs> this is very hard. This is very hard doing it by yourself as a DIY. <laughs> Hey beautiful people, welcome back. If you're new, my name's Courtney, and for this video, I'm gonna install tape-in extensions in my hair for the very first time. So this is completely DIY, and I'm probably gonna need a prayer before I install them because the only instructions I have received was through multiple YouTube videos. So I pray that this turns out nice. The hair is beautiful. The hair was sent to me by Y Wigs. It is a 22 inch Yaki tape-in extensions in the natural color. If you know me, the only style I truly know how to do is whip my hair in a ponytail, put it in two plait twists, or flat iron it. I am not skilled by no ways. I watch multiple YouTube, so I truly hope that I can install this properly, but you guys are seeing this from start to finish. So if you are not great with doing hair and you wanna be encouraged to install tape and extensions, this video is for you. Cause if I could do it, lo and behold, you could do it too. I want to thank Y Wigs again for sponsoring this video and sending over the tape and extensions. In the back, we have three 22 inch Relax Yaki tape and extensions, additional tapes, and the Velcro to help pull down the flyaways. The Relax Yaki hair is typically for girls that have more texture to their hair. I received the hair in the natural black, so it will look really good with the color of my hair and the texture. All right, so I'm back. So I went ahead and parted my hair. I saw that in the additional YouTube videos that I saw. You wanna make sure that you have a complete rim left out. Now granted, depending on what texture your hair is, if it's thinner, if it's thicker, it's gonna determine how much leave out that you need. Now the reason you wanna have leave out is to make sure that the tape and extensions blend in and look as natural as possible. All right, so I'm gonna have my mirror so it can be a little bit easier Easier. I'm gonna turn around and start from the back so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I have another mirror in front of me that I'm gonna use to help navigate putting in the tape and extensions. Wait, before we start, it may help if we get the extensions ready, okay? All right, so each bundle comes with two sets. Each set has 20 tape and extensions and I'm not too sure how many I'm gonna need to go across, but I'm assuming probably three or four. So I'm assuming that I'm probably gonna use uh, two and a half of the bundles to get all the extensions in. So I'm a little nervous about the blending, but I'm hoping that it will be a nice blend from my uh, shorter hair versus the 22 inches that we have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one set ready. So as you can see, this is one complete tape and extension. There's tape on both sides. Or maybe you're gonna actually need two of them to clasp in between your hair uh, just like this. Like I said, there were 20 of them, so you will have 10 in each bundle to use. Lord, I don't know, I ain't doing the math right, but you know what I'm trying to say. You're gonna need two of them and uh, you'll go ahead and put them in between each hair. So I'm gonna turn around and hopefully we can figure this out together. Now before y'all go run into the comments talking about I know you did not just cut your hair to go put in some yaki, that was not the case. So I was asked by Y Wigs to provide an honest review on their tape and extensions and that is why we're here. Now when I was showing what came in the bag earlier, I said there was a piece of velcro that you can use to help pull down the flyaways. At the time of recording, I had no idea what that piece of Velcro was for, so I wasn't using it, which made this process 10 times harder. Okay, so, <laughs> oh Lord. So we have one put in. That took about 10 minutes. 
minutes. Uh, so it's not as easy as it seems. Watching the other YouTube videos, it does appear these girls are able to part it up, stick it on, and get it on the hair. But if you can't really see what you're doing behind you, it makes it 10 times harder. So I'm gonna go still complete the back with you guys showing. Um, my method is I am gonna go underneath the hair because that seems a lot easier. I've seen a lot of girls go on top and put the bottom strand underneath. That to me seems extremely difficult. So for this piece, I feel like I took too large of a strand of hair. I'm gonna try to make each little strand of hair a little bit thinner because the thicker, I feel like it's, it's just too much hair and it's not gonna last very long. The one thing I wanted to mention too is just to make sure that your hair is completely clean. You don't want it to have any oils or be dirty. So it's best to do this after it's been freshly washed and also blown dried and um, styled, however you're gonna have it styled. So we're, let's go back to it and let's finish this hair up. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer so you can see the method I'm using. As you can slightly see here, I'm going underneath the hair and then coming back on top with the other side of the tape and extension. Once you have the two tapes aligned to each other, you wanna make sure you firmly press down on them because if you don't, they will easily fall out. You also wanna make sure you don't use too thick of a piece of hair because it will also make it hard for the two pieces of tape to stick together. The method did get easier as I started to put more pieces in, but it was still very difficult. Here, I'm trying to show you guys how to angle the front pieces. Now the key word here is try to show you guys because I couldn't figure it out and I was putting them in an awkward position, which you'll see later in the video, which made it hard for me to pull the extensions into a ponytail. So do not follow this method, okay? I will leave video links in the description below of two individuals who I believe did an outstanding job installing the tape-in extensions. I will also leave links in the description below on where you can purchase these tape-in extensions. Okay, I mean, they're looking okay so far. The only thing I would try to say is I have no idea how we're gonna blend these in with my hair. Cause you can see that there's obviously a break from here to the long hair. I'm hoping as we continue to add more of the extensions in, it blends out on its own. But I wanna let you know right now, this is not easy. <laughs> this is very hard. This is very hard doing it by yourself as a DIY. However, I do think that these extensions do match my hair very well however if you can have a professional install them I recommend that if you unless you are a hair professional but for us non hair professionals this is not for the faint of heart this is very difficult because the black tape ends kind of blend in with your hair and you it's hard to like find where it stops and it ends and also just trying to make sure you get the pieces because like for this one for example it's gonna pull in my hair because I couldn't figure out how to get it on an angle so when I pull it up in a bun or in a ponytail it can easily get pulled up so just keep that in mind. All right, so we're gonna do the rest off camera because I need a mirror. And I will be back when I come to the top parts and finish it off with you guys. All right, so I'm back. So I almost have half the head done. I still have to figure out how to blend it up front. But here, let me show you guys. The tape ins blend in with my hair really, really, really well. I think the hardest part with the install was actually angling them. These ones right up front here are pretty hard to install because if you're not used to figuring out the full angle of your hair, because when you pull them up into a ponytail, you need to make sure that they angle properly. And that has been like the hardest struggle. As for the tape in extensions, I mean, honestly, I really have no complaints. This hair is really for the girls who have like 4A, 4B straight hair, or if you have a relaxer, it definitely matches our texture very well. The tape ends stick 
really 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 good I only had one that I had an issue with them staying stuck so I had to just use a different one I think I ended up putting them in another location and they sticked a little bit better but in the one part when I was trying to do the side piece they kept coming off right now you can see it's not going anywhere I'm going to continue finishing the install and right now I'm at the point where I, I can't wait until it's finished one of the great things about the Y Wigs tape and extensions is you can reuse these tape and extensions. They're very easy to remove. You just use the tape and extension removers or any oil you have at home, wash them, and then just remove the tapes and add new ones and you can put it right back in your hair. I will admit when I was at this point, I was really wishing I scheduled that appointment to have these tape and extensions installed. I was trying to save a penny, but I realized I should have went to the stylist to have them installed. So you have been warned. You can DIY them if you want to. I just know I'm not going to do it again. However, you will love the Y wigs. So we're getting there y'all. We only have this side of my hair left to do. We did the back, we did this side, and I think it's blending in nicely. So we are going to um, finish with this side and we'll do that on camera. You will see later in the video that on one side, I didn't put enough extensions, so you are gonna see a difference between my hair and the extensions. However, you can noticeably see it in the video because of the highlights I have in my room, but when I was looking in the mirror, it looked like it blend very, very well. Also, my hair had a little bit more volume to it because I straightened it with a heat comb versus a flat iron. If I had used a flat iron, the tape and extensions in my hair would have matched completely. So please keep that in mind when you see the final look. I personally love the texture of these tape and extensions. All right, so I finally finished adding the tape and extensions. This is not gonna be the final look. I am gonna curl my hair. As you saw through the whole video, this is not easy if this is your first time. If you are not a hair stylist, a hair professional, or who can easily pick up watching people do something, this will not be an easy task. It does take a while to align all the tape and extensions because when you watch someone else do it it's like oh man this is super easy let me just do this sandwich however when you're actually doing it trying to make sure it aligns with the actual flow of your hair trying to make sure that you can align it correctly and then making sure you don't sandwich it too fast because sometimes some pieces are stuck in an awkward position I don't recommend DIY tape and extensions for anyone for their first time. However, for the tape and extensions from Y Wigs, these are very nice hair extensions. The only thing I noticed is there is a little bit of shedding when it came to um, installing it. I'm not too sure if that's typically normal for um, for the tape and extensions, but I did notice that there was a little shedding more. I didn't see so much shedding that the one time I had a sew-in, but I did notice that with these extensions. However, the texture, the color, everything matched my hair perfectly. Now, unfortunately, like the most I'm gonna get my hair up is about this much because my hair is already so thick. The hair has been added and it's, it has my hair super, super, super thick when it comes to my hair. I also installed the front ones a little crazy, so it does not feel comfortable pulling this up into a bun. If they were installed perfectly, as you can see, you can't see any of the tape and extensions. If I wanted to, I could have, not me, but if I wanted to, I could have had a stylist put them in a half up, half down. However, I personally cannot put my hair up in a ponytail without it feeling some type of discomfort or pulling. So I'm not going to show you that. 
but I will put down in the description some other links of videos of people who know how to properly install them so you can see that you can install them and put them in a ponytail. Now I'm gonna go and style my hair and I will be right back. All right, beautiful people, I am back and this is my final look. Let's just do a full recap. I decided to DIY my own tape and extensions. That was, for the final results, okay, they look okay. But installing, like if y'all could see what's going on in this head right now, it may have been a fail. So if you're new and you purchase some brand new tape and extensions, I recommend going and getting them installed by a professional. Do not be like myself and try to install them by yourself. There are women who can do it. I wish I was one of them, but I am not. However, if I do purchase some tape and extensions in the futures, I will be purchasing from YWIG. I know I mentioned earlier there was some shedding. After the initial shedding came out, there was no more shedding and then you could put heat on it. I had a, I think I put probably medium to high heat to curl it and they curled so well. So honestly, if you want some extensions, any type of hair extensions, they do sell a variety and they also have a multiple different colors. Please go check out Y Wigs. I'll also make sure I leave where you can purchase the wigs in the description below. You will not be disappointed. Now, as always, if you like this video or if you have some tips for me for installing the uh, tape and extensions, please feel free to like the video. Please feel free to leave a comment. And if you want to join this journey, please go ahead and subscribe. I want to thank you guys for tuning in and I'll talk to you guys next time. Okay, bye.